Yep. Okay, so let's head over to the platform. Birdman Contest. If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the sky to win fame and prizes. I like fame and prizes. All the way out there? I see. I think he's commenting on the goalpost. Greetings, a person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest. And now listen, you're free to use any means, methods, or tools to ha you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas like so much dead weight driftwood. The banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion, who has flown to the farthest to date, crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you're able to pass that, then you will be the new champion. You will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. It's 10 rupees. Up the ladder you go, my brother waits you at the top. You don't have any wings or feathers or anything. So do you have something that you can use to fly? I hope so. He is wishing the wind beneath your, uh, thing, whatever it is. A challenger, the contest is afoot. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by the champion. You must pass that banner. All right. There we go. I didn't quite go far enough. Unfortunately, you don't get anything for getting close. This ain't horseshoes. go again. There we go. Goal! Congratulations! Current record is 250... Wow, I was two yards off on my first try. Breathtaking, you have shown to me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, they are unworthy. Amazing, you blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You would fake a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe. I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You're both great and talented. So as the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Alright. Nah, I'm good. There aren't any other rewards for this, so... There we 
refill our magic. Okay, so let's head to here. We're gonna go back to Roxbar Island real quick. There's actually another heart piece I could have gotten earlier, but I kind of forgot about. North past great fish. So there's some ships in this quadrant. That could be them. possible that these aren't them, but it could be. Aha! There it is. Another heart piece. Just gotta sink one of these random boats. Right, we killed the big octo near Tingle Island, so we don't need to go back there. Back to Dragon Roost. So, in the northwest part of Fire Mountain's quadrant. I believe that there's another big Akko that we can deal with. Just gotta find it first. Ah, there they are. Oh, 
Let's suppose we can give this a try. So... Bombs actually knock out the eyes instantly. And it's much easier to do in this version with the trajectory line. Interesting. Not like I really have to worry about my supply of bombs that much. It's like I'm old 99. Oop. Too fast. Make our way east so we can chart that last part of this this section of the map. There's fish, man. <laughs> Star Belt Archipelago. Wouldn't sail for these seas on nights when the left half of the moon is missing. You'll regret it if you do. Talking about the ghost ship again. Do you mind? I'm dredging here. Warp over to Great Fish Isle, and then from there we'll head west. So bright. Oh, there's Fishman straight ahead. a really weird guy on the island due east of here. He had a pack on his bag huger than any pack I've ever seen. I mean, it was big fry. He said he was looking for treasure, but what does he expect to find in a place like that? I tell you, this guy is completely obsessed. Okay, so now we'll go south.
out. There's a trio of ships over there. You should note them for later. They will be important. There's Fishman. seen the boats sailing around here with the real huge cannons, right? I bet you those things have their holes packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. So, let's head over here to the island. First of all, we've got mail. Oops. Dang it. Oh, wow. That actually looked over the birds. That's funny. You've got mail. I recently received some gold feathers from my boyfriend who mentioned you. If so I'm something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how hard it must have been to get all of these feathers. I want you to be as happy as we are, so I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. Aww. Okay, well, since we already killed the birds, then, um... Let's pull out a, a Hyoi pair. If you use one of these around seagulls, you could actually control them. So we need to fly all the way to the top of the needle rock and hit this switch. Just gotta fly into it like that. And that's all we need. Another piece of art. Now we're gonna melt this ice over here. <laughs> Alright, so we got a little puzzle to do in here. To the living, light the six torches and dive down to the sea floor. Guide the lost spirit of the boat that forever forever wanders in darkness. So there are six torches that we have to light in total. One's right there. One is through that hole over there on that ship. There's another one right here. There's one above us. ship. And then all the way to the left, on top of that mass, you can just see it. Got 
Got it. We only get rupees for that, but hey, figured since we're here. Great fish. From here, we're going to go southeast toward, toward Stone Watcher. Now, we're not actually interested in going onto the island at the moment. Instead, we want the platform that's to the north of it. Now, we need to destroy all the cannons on it. God, this trajectory line is so useful. Alright, is that all of them? It is. That's okay. Right, red rupee, but more importantly... Another piece of art. So let's go south.
Okay, so there should be some more seagulls around here. Indicating another big octo. There they are. over to forest here. That should be good. Bird's Peak Rock. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Golden Triumph Forks? They're there on that island, or at least a chart leading to them is there. Where is it hidden, you ask? Well, for the answer to that, you'll have to ask a goal. Right, 
also chart the item island to the south. Cliff Plateau Isles. Do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in there is they had a switch that's way up high in the Forest Haven. Well, the only way to do that would be to bribe one of the gulls by putting a little bait on your head. We've already got the Nintendo Gallery open, though. Let's warp to Outside Island.